session we'll discuss about multiplexers and demultiplexers so initially let us see what is a multiplexer and then we'll move on to the multiplexer multiplexer a multiplexer has n control inputs or selection lines and two power and data inputs and one output line so here multiplexer is a circuit which accepts two power and data inputs along with that n control inputs and it will produce only one output now here out of these two power n inputs one of the input line is routed to the output and uh, the selection of this input depends on the control inputs or the selection lines okay so the data which is present on one of the data inputs will be present on the output and that selection is depends on this particular control lines okay so let us see uh, one of the example of this multiplexer that is 2 cross 1 multiplexer okay so here 2 cross 1 indicates that it has two inputs this multiplexer can receive two inputs and produces only one output okay so here as there are two inputs it means 2 power n now the value of n here is 1 okay so 2 power 1 is 2 inputs and n value is 1 therefore the selection line would be only one selection line or only one control line okay now based on this control line one of the input is selected and that is routed to the output side okay let us see that this is the representation of two cross one multiplexer we can also call it as two line to one line multiplexer okay and we can also call it as two line to one line mux okay so here it is uh, receiving two inputs i0 and i1 and s is the selection line and y is the output okay now if this selection line is zero if the selection line is zero then the value which is present on this i0 okay the value which is present on this i0 would be routed to the output side now y will be holding the data present on i0 okay if the selection line is one then the value or data value which is present on i1 is routed to the output side therefore now y would be holding i1 okay now this is the truth table for the two cross one multiplexer now as you got the truth table we can easily get the uh, boolean expression for this so i have plotted this truth table on the k map and i have got this expression so y equals s complement i naught plus s i1 so as i have got the boolean expression now i can implement the uh, logic gate design that is here i need two and gates for these two terms and then one or gate so i have used two and gates along with an inverter okay and then a or gate okay. now this is the logic diagram for this expression okay now this is how we can design uh, multiplexers with the help of logic gates okay now let us see one more example uh, that is a uh, four to one line multiplexer where uh, four indicates the number of inputs and one indicates the number of outputs okay as there are four inputs so it is nothing but two power two where n value is two therefore a total of two selection lines are used for selecting any one of the input lines okay here you can see the truth table s1 and s0 are the two selection lines y is the output and i0 to i3 are the input sources okay if s1 and s0 are 0 0 then uh, the output would be i0 in the same way for 0 1 output would be i1 and for 1 0 output would be i2 and the last combination 1 1 output would be i3 so and this is the uh, logic diagram of 4 to 1 line multiplexer uh, and it is implemented by using logic gates okay now let us see an application of the 4 to 1 line multiplexer sorry one uh, multiplexer so here we have a speaker set and now this speaker set is getting the input from four sources okay so this speaker set at a time this speaker set can re uh, respond to only one of the source so that is why i have used one multiplexer here which is having two selection lines so based on these two selection lines any one of the source is selected and the output of that particular source will be given as an input to the speaker set okay so this is how we can use the multiplexers in different kinds of applications now let us see our next concept that is demultiplexers now these demultiplexers will perform the converse operation of the multiplexer okay this circuit will accept n control inputs along with one data input and then produces two power n outputs okay so here uh, it, it receives only one input now that input will be routed to any one of the output lines 
and that output line is selected with the help of these control inputs okay let us see that with an example uh, one cross four demultiplexer here one indicates uh, the input and four indicates number of outputs as there are four outputs therefore there would be a total of two selection lines okay and uh, this is a two table for demultiplexer as you can see a and b are the selection lines and uh, x y z w x y z are the outputs okay and this is what the expression that we have got now uh, after getting this expression now we have to plot this expression by using logic gates okay so this is how we have plotted that expression or uh, into by using logic gates and this is the representation of the dmux okay and a typical typical application here uh, i have a computer which is which is acting as uh, one of the target device and there are totally four uh, four other uh, destinations now this computer has to use any one of the sorts so that is selected with the help of these selection lines and by using that it would be selecting any one of the sorts and this is one more example so initially at the source i am just going with multiplexer where one of the data is selected and that is transmitted through the bus and at the destination i am going to select one of the uh, destination channel to that i'm going to route this particular data okay so this is how we can use multiplexers and demultiplexers in communication thank you